Right, so a very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I just came back from uh, the BARC examination center. And uh, first of all, just let me address this thing that I have not been making videos for some time now. And the reason is that there have been certain issues. I'm, you know, uh, personal issues plus I'm shifting as well so uh, pro, uh, you know uh, after a day or two maybe you will see my videos in my new place right now uh, coming on to the bark exam now surprisingly the bark exam was uh, you can say very very easy obviously it's, it was actually 11th or 12th class paper right it was that easy like the level of the exam was actually 11th or 12th class like if you if if uh, iit j aspirant or any competitive exam be it need iit j or any other competitive exam that happened after class 12th engineering or medical or whatever it was that level of the exam right so um, i don't know what they were trying to do because uh, see the chemistry part almost everybody knew okay because if you are a master's level student who is giving this particular exam then I expect at least uh, all of you to know about 80% of the questions that came from chemistry because 80% of the questions were too easy from chemistry I'm saying so 10 questions were from from maths you can say right Nine out of the hundred questions 10 questions were from maths and uh, if you are like i have always been insisting in my videos that you should practice maths maths is something that will help you throughout right so if you have been practicing maths you know you have a very good chance of qualifying this exam uh, if you didn't attempt the maths question it is difficult because the chemistry questions were so damn easy they were so damn easy that anybody anybody from with a with a little bit of knowledge of chemistry and especially if you are a master student you're giving this exam i mean i don't i don't see a reason why you could not answer those questions right if you are if you are not able to answer those questions you need to work on your basics right back from your 11th and 12th ncrt because the paper was right from the ncrt right the coordination questions were damn easy k3 co cn6 uh, you know you need you need to find the Bohr magneton so these questions are like basic 11th class coordination questions and then there were questions on dipole moment which will have the highest dipole moment uh, i did not expect such a paper like last year also i gave this exam and the questions were easy like i told you but they were of jam level okay there were some certain topics which uh, required a, a greater knowledge of chemistry not just you know 11 12, 11 12 intermediate level chemistry but this time the it was surprisingly very um, very easy right so i'll tell you honestly uh, in the first one and a half hours that is 90 minutes uh, i could easily do 70 questions out of the 100 questions in first 90 minutes i could easily do 70 questions rest 30 minutes i had 30 questions for 30 minutes and those were all numericals so i think i solved around 15 to 20 numericals 15 to 18 or whatever i don't remember I, I attempted somewhere around 85 questions like i was easily able to attempt 85 86 questions out of those 100 questions right so this was my strategy that i would not attempt the numericals like i had always i had told you in my bark strategy video that you should not attempt the numericals right so because i mean you have to attempt the numericals but later on right okay so this paper if i say uh, for those of you who did not prepare at all for this exam i think for them this paper would have gone really well right so because see those of you who who would have you know studied for this exam who would have you know put in some hard work uh, i feel bad for you because you would have done some advanced topics and the question was very the question paper was very very basic right so um, somebody who did not prepare at all and just gave came for the paper and gave it he would be fresh in the mind so he would be quick with the questions and i think it is uh, you know someone who has not prepared at all for the first time would benefit in a particular exam so this particular exam will benefit those people who prepared less or who did not prepare at all right because this exam uh, it uh, it required speed that is the only main criteria and a little bit of knowledge of maths so if these two things were there with you apart from chemistry knowledge which was very basic like i told you so so you know like in csr net in your gate exam you need to have good thorough knowledge of chemistry so if you have a good thorough knowledge of chemistry and even if you're not fast with calculations or solving the questions or your strategy is not good yet you can clear that exam right but this exam was see the chemistry was very very average right so everybody who gave this exam uh, and who's from a chemistry background would have easily solved those chemistry questions so now the difference is going to 
lie, lie on how many questions you attempted that is you have to be very quick uh, you have to be very fast and if you have practiced a lot of numericals and if have if you have followed my strategy of of you know completing the numericals later on and if you do not know the answer to the question just jump on the, jump on to the next question right you do not have the time to think in this particular exam so if you had followed these strategies you would have definitely solved at least 70 questions i think there there is highly i think 70 questions were quite easy to solve in those um, 120 minutes right and the second thing is that uh, if your maths is go good like i've been repeatedly telling you then you would have easily done really well in this particular paper right so questions again from numeric even from nuclear chemistry i had thought though there will be questions on dk schemes and kinetics so uh, hardly there were two questions on t half based on kinetics right and even kinetics in general also did not come in the exam as i was expecting right there was more of thermodynamics yet there were 10 to 12 questions from nuclear chemistry but they were very they were damn simple like right there was one question on liquid drop model which was tough for those who have not studied liquid drop model but who, those who have studied liquid drop mo model it's given in hg arnicker chapter number three so if you have studied that particular topic the question was quite simple right and i know i, I remember certain questions so if you want I, I upload the answer key but i do not see any point of uploading the answer key even the nmr questions were quite simple uh, i mean uh, i i don't actually see a point in uh, you know uploading the answer key or you know giving out the answers to the questions that i remember but in case you want me to do that you can comment down below i'll make answer i'll make the answer key for this questions for the questions that i remember and also contribute by you know by uh, okay once i make the answer key once i make the questions that i remember and once i you know solve those questions then in the next video whichever whichever it is you can just comment down below whichever questions i missed out and you remember and then i'll solve those as well right so i hope you did well i think it was quite easy the paper was very very easy and i don't see any reason why you could not do more than 60 questions because um so I could I can say like okay ten questions are from math so let's leave that out if I talk about the chemistry part ten questions there was no question which which was hard which was difficult there were ten questions you can say ten to twelve questions which were of medium you know of medium uh, medium yeah they were of medium level and there were about sixty five to seventy questions you can say yeah about seventy yeah about seventy to seventy five questions which were very easy to solve right so 75 questions were easy 12 to 15 questions were medium level right there was no hard question and 10 questions were maths were based on pure maths right so i think 60 questions you should be able to solve easily and i think that that would be the cutoff this time i think i mean i do not know what what it's going to be but i think 50 to 60 questions at least you should have solved in this in this but at least 60 questions you should have solved in this particular exam right so i think the cutoff will go around 160 170 that's what i feel uh rest you can let me know and all the very best thank you